Welcome to Wake and Bake with me, Queen Nika. I hope everyone is doing fabulous. As you can see, I have a shit ton of ingredients out here in front of me, and I'm gonna be recreating some of my favorite Filipino stews that you absolutely can enjoy over rice. It just soaks everything together to get that perfect bite, and it really is that warm hug that you get from the inside. So I'm really excited to share all that with you guys today. Brings me back to home, seeing my mom in the kitchen, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna be making fish sinigang, pork belly adobo, chicken tanola, and a little dinagawan and puto. So stay tuned, woo! Watch me turn all of this into... Okay guys, so we're gonna show you how to prep all the veggies for all the stews. You're gonna wanna chop up some garlic, and you want to crush them too. We're going to use them throughout. This is for the pork belly marinade, for the adobo, whole peppercorns, some soy sauce, the garlic. Marinate that for two hours. Next, for the tanola, we're going to get some coyote squash, peel and chop, same with some ginger. Peel and chop, that's pretty much it, and some fresh spinach, but I didn't really need to prep that. Chop, chop, chop. Next, for the sinigang, we're gonna get some, well, I had some like small bok choy, but any kind of greens. So nice green beans for you too. And then you wanna chop it up just to get that nice perfect bite. You also wanna slice up some onions for the um, sinigang. And then you wanna finally chop, you know, for the other stew. So make sure you chop everything. Yes, with the fresh taro. And you want to thinly slice that, you know, whatever bite size you want to get, and some white radish. Some tomatoes, and then some eggplants. And I forgot to mention okra, but we do have some okra as well. All right, so this is really, really important. This is called salt. This is for seasoning, if you want to have taste, if you want to have flavor, if you have taste. You want to season your salt, <laughs> season your fish with all the salt and you want to pan fry them just nice and brown before you put it in the stew. Mm. Okay, so we're going to start with the pork belly adobo and the dinagawan. one. You want to heat your pans and once they're all nice and hot, you're going to add the onions and the garlic over there and then just straight up with the pork belly in the pot. Once it's all nice and hot, you're going to add the marinade in the pork belly. So, you know, the rest of uh, the marinade has the garlic and the peppercorns. And then you're gonna add some water and some bay leaves. And you're gonna let that bad boy simmer for like 25 minutes. And it's pretty much ready after that, it's super simple. Once the caramelized onions are all nice and ready, you're gonna add the pork butt, some water, and you're gonna bring that to a boil and you're gonna let that honey simmer, okay? Once that's nice and simmered, you're gonna add a little pork cube. Um, I'd add, I added two, so whatever you want. Once the adobo is ready after 25 minutes, you're just gonna put a little vinegar on top. Do not stir. Let that bad boy simmer and you got adobo, bitch. Okay. Now, once the pork butt is nice and cooked for the dinner one, you're gonna slowly add the pork blood. You wanna make sure it's nice and simmer, not too hot, because you don't want the pork blood to cook too fast. Yes. Dinner one's my favorite. I love pork blood. You're gonna add some peppers, some vinegar, and brown sugar once it's done. And you just give it a stir, give it a taste, and if it tastes good to you, then I'm sure it's perfect. Yes, dinner one, bitch. All right, take a little smoke break, and then we're gonna start with the tundola. So obviously heat a pan, put some oil, and then you're gonna add the onions, garlic, and that ginger, because that's really what makes the tundola. Once all of those meet and greet each other, you're gonna wanna cook all your chicken. You wanna cook both sides, make sure it's all nice and brown, and then you wanna put them all back in there, add a bunch of water, and you're just gonna let that bad boy simmer for 30 minutes. Make sure you get all the nasty bits out once they float on top. Add a little fish sauce and let that cook for a little bit longer, and then you can add your coyote squash and whatever greens. Again, I had like just the fresh spinach, so I just put that bad boy in there. And girl, that is chicken tanola. So easy and so yum, bitch. All right, sinigang, last thing, bring that water to the boil. Water, <laughs> water. You wanna get your tomatoes and onions and radish and taro up in, in there. Then you have that tamarind pack and then you have fresh tamarind. I did try to make the tamarind paste, 
Um, you obviously can just do this tamarind pack super easy. And then you, whatever you have, you just bring that in there, put it in the water, let it <laughs> stir. And then you're just gonna let that simmer for just a little bit. Once that simmers though, you're gonna add the little fish and the rest of the veggies. All right, I did forget to add, um, I did put some fish sauce and I did squeeze like two to three lemons. So to give that really sour taste that Sinigang has, so make sure you do that if you like. So once you add the fish, eggplant, green beans, give it a stir, give it a whirl. Uh, it looks so good already and there's more to come. There's still stuff to put in there. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, add a little green pepper because a bitch loves spicy. Add your okra and then whatever greens you have. Again, I had like small bok choy. And that is it again. Like, <laughs> period, bitch. Like, that's it. I'm like... I'm pretty shook with myself. I mean, congrats, girl. Like, you did it. Like, you did it with this choppy <laughs> shot. It was really bad. But anyways, those are all the stews. We have puto here. We got an egg white, and we have some water, coconut milk, and you want to give that a good whisk, because it's going to be for the puto. We got the baking powder, some rice flour sifted right in there, and that's basically it. Super simple super moist and delicious. You want to give that a good swisk, <laughs> swisk. And then you want to fill your pans. Um, I don't know, I fill them to the top. I don't know how much you're supposed to do, whatever. <laughs> and then you just want to put that through another little, um, like a little sifter and then get your steamer ready and bam. Let that steam for like 10 minutes and look at this cloud. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, there you have it, guys. You can see she is pouring up her creations, her delicious. Mwah. All I can say is that we don't really go by a recipe. You know, we just find the ingredients and we just go by taste. So I hope you guys can do this at home. I swear it's super easy and enjoy. Woo! Who brought rice? Yeah, girl did. I am so ready to eat everything. Everything has just tasted and smelled so good throughout this whole time. It's been a day, but I'm ready to dig in. Let me just get some rice. All right, so we got some rice. And then I'll just like shove off my cute dazzles a little rice cooker. And I have my puto here. So the only thing about all the stews is that I did keep everything cannabis free. I'm still learning on how to infuse things differently. Um, definitely all the recipes were a little hard for me to be able to infuse anything, but I do have some can of salt that I made. And so I am just gonna sprinkle just a little bit on each and we'll see how that goes. Just, just a dash. Nothing crazy, nothing that's gonna like take me off the roof, knock my ass over, but just enough. Let's start with the adobo. All right, I'm not a huge fan of people eating in front of the camera. Okay, here it goes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the chicken tenola. Definitely one of my favorites growing up. My mom used to make it all the time. It's super simple, but it really just reminds me of after school, seeing my mom in the kitchen, making dinner every day, and that's where I am every day now. And so, I love it. Mm. Hella good. I. They're all gonna be hella good, I know, but Oh 
Mom. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Girl. Girl. These are all the ones. They are all ones. They are, ooh. Ooh. Tens across the boards for everything so far. Let's go to the puto and the dinaguan. Mm -hmm. Dinaguan is my absolute favorite Filipino dish. I don't really like to eat it with rice. I do prefer eating it with puto. It just gives that like sweet and savory um, little combo. So, you know. All right, so what I do. <laughs> I take the puto real easy. It's a real good technique, you know. Oh, shit. So, yeah, you just dip it in that pork blood soup. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, my God. I love... I love food. Okay. I love food so fucking much. It's hella good, y'all. I hope that after watching these, this video, oh my, oh my god, I need to do it again. Just one more, let's just try. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my god. It's done. Bye. I'm going to finish everything because why not?